Welcome back. This is video number two for lesson 1.5. We are using problem solving um, strategies and models. For this example, you're going to see that it's really helpful to draw a diagram. A physical situation is being described, and so actually reading what it says and drawing out what it would look like, a little model of it, um, is going to be helpful in setting up our equation. Okay. This one is about some banners. So you are hanging four championship banners on a wall in your school's gym. Woohoo, that would be great. The banners are eight feet wide. The wall is 62 feet long. There should be an equal amount of space between the ends of the wall and the banners and between each pair of banners. How far apart should the banners be placed? Okay, so I don't know about you, but for my brain to process this, I really need to see a picture of it. So we're gonna draw a little picture of the wall Okay, we're going to begin by drawing and labeling a diagram as shown below. Okay, so here is our 62-foot wall, and we've got four banners. Okay, each of the banners is eight feet wide. Now, however much space we're going to put between the banners, you need that between the wall and the first banner, so that's our first X here. And then it needs to be the same amount of space between any two banners. So between banner one and two, we have X between banner uh, X feet and between banner two and three, we have X. Between banner three and four, we have X. And then between banner four and the wall, we have X feet, okay? So what this means, once we have it diagrammed out, we see that X plus eight plus another X plus eight plus another X plus eight plus another X plus eight and then alone X has to equal 62 because that's the total amount of space we have on the wall and we want everything evenly spaced out. So from the diagram, we can write and solve an equation to find x. I just went through how to actually come up with the equation. You just look at what you've got. So if you see here on my um, equation, I've got the x plus 8 plus x plus 8 plus x plus 8 plus x plus 8 plus that extra x equals 62. Now we're going to combine like terms, okay? We have five x's, and so we get five x. Eight plus eight is 16, plus another eight is 24, plus another eight is 32. So we have five x plus 32 equals 62. And now we have a pretty simple equation to solve. We subtract 32 from both sides, and that's going to give us five x equals 30. X is being multiplied by 5, so to undo that, we divide by 5, and so we get X equals 6. So each banner should be placed 6 feet apart. You should have 6 feet before the first banner, and then 6 feet between each banner, and 6 feet after the last banner. Okay, our last example is also going to serve as standardized test practice. Okay, and um, so we've got a car uses... 16 gallons of gasoline and traveled a total distance of 460 miles. The car's fuel efficiency is 30 miles per gallon on the highway and 25 per gallon in the city. Um, so that makes sense. We know that, that cars are more fuel efficient on the highway than they are in the city. So 30 miles per gallon on the highway, 25 miles per gallon in the city. How many gallons of gasoline were used on the highway? Okay, so this indicates that a certain number of gallons of gasoline were used on the highway, a certain number of gallons of gasoline were used in the city, and they all add up to 16 gallons of gasoline. Okay, so let's think this through. Step one, we're going to write a verbal model and then write an equation. So the total distance in miles is going to also be split up between highway miles and city miles, okay? If part of the ga gasoline was used up on the highway and part of the gasoline was used up in the city, then a certain number of miles were driven on the highway and a certain number of miles were driven on in the city. So we're going to add miles and miles to equal the total distance. So the total distance is 460. Now our first expression is going to be the total number of highway miles. So what you do is you do the miles per gallon, the fuel efficiency times the number of gallons. Well, 
we don't know the number of gallons, that's what we're looking for. So we're going to let our variable represent the number of gallons. And since gallon starts with G, we're going to use G. So our expression for highway miles will be the miles per gallon for the highway times the number of gallons. So that's going to be 30 times G. Okay. Now, the city miles, we're going to use the same kind of idea. Okay, we're going to have the miles per gallon for the city, which is 25, and then times the amount of gas used in the city. Now, we don't know how many, how many gallons of gas were used in the city either, but we know it's the difference between however many were used on the highway and, how, and 16, because 16 total were used. That's our total. So if, 10, if it turns out that 10 gallons were used on the highway, that would leave us with 6 for the city. If 5 gallons were used for the highway, that would leave us with 5 uh, for the city. Wait, I'm not sure I said that right. If 11 gallons are used for the highway, then 5 are used for the city. So they always have to add up to be um, 16. So whatever G is, we subtract that away from 16, and that'll give us how much is left over for the city miles. So we're going to have 460 equals 30 times G plus 25 times 16 minus G. Because no matter what G is, how much is left over for the city is going to be total minus how much was used. So it's going to be 16 minus G. An equation for this situation is 460 equals 30 times G plus 25 times 16 minus G. Okay, so step two is solve for G to find the number of gallons used on the highway. So we're going to write down our equation. So 460 equals 30G plus 25 times 16 minus G. Now, before we start moving things around, we have to simplify each side of the equation. So on that right-hand side, we've got some work to do. The first thing we need to do is distribute that 25. So we're going to multiply 25 times 16 and then, 20, and then minus and 25 times G. So we get 460 equals 30G plus 400, because 25 times 16 is 400, minus 25G. On the right-hand side, we have two terms with Gs in them, so we want to combine them. So we're going to get 460 equals 5G, because 30 minus 25 is 5, plus 400. Now, each side is simplified, so we're now we're starting, we want to move things. We only have one term with a G in it, that 5G, so we're going to leave it alone, and we're going to subtract the 400 from both sides, and that's going to give us 60 equals 5 times G. G's being multiplied by 5. To undo that, we divide by 5, and so we get 12 equals G, because 60 divided by 5 is 12. The car used 12 gallons on the highway. Now, one thing, uh, the correct answer then is B. Now, one thing we can do is plug in and double check our answer. Remember, you can always do that. So we're going to plug in 12 for the um, number of gallons used on the highway. So 30 times 12 plus 25 times 16 minus 12, that means there were four city miles equals 360, because 30 times 12 is 360. 25 times 4, because 16 minus 12 is 4, so 25 times 4 is 100. 360 plus 100 is equal to 460. Okay, guys, you've got three problems to try on your own. Um, use the examples to guide you. Don't worry if you end up with a decimal, all of the particular examples we have, decimals are fine. So even if the example didn't have a decimal, if you end up with a decimal, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, do your best on the problems to try on your own. Have these ready um, and show them to me when you first get in class um, next class period. Uh, we'll see you then.